Hey guys, welcome back to part 43 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. So after that humongous blowout between <laughs> Sherry and Kirsten, Connor has finally been able to pull his mother aside and just kind of, you know, talk to her about the situation and also take into consideration what his wife said. Um, he is not going to choose his mother over his wife. I know that sounds so harsh, but he has built a future with this woman. He um, is determined to be there every step of the way in his son life he is not going to let some obnoxious family matters ruin the, his most prized possession um and it's definitely been hard for connor to kind of cut the cord or the umbilical cord as some of you said with his mother because she's getting older and he's he's afraid you know like he doesn't know what he would do without his mom because he doesn't have his dad and you know it's just it's i guess it's it's he wants to be there as long as he po he possibly can. And, you know, Sherry understands that. But there's just so many people in this household, um, so many different personalities, so many walks of life that I really do feel like they need to go on their own and, you know, live their lives and, and do what they need to do. You know what I mean? Um, however, I am going to keep them together for the rest of this let's play but they will be moving out and you know what you can take that for what it's worth i'm not going to give you guys any hints as to what's going to happen but keep in mind you will i promise you you will see connor sherry athena the baby again mm -hmm. you will i don't know what's going to happen with it but you're going to see them again so for now sherry and connor have met a compromise and they're going to stay here and let kirsten just love on blake and i guess keep kirsten and sherry a mile away from each other so um the thing is is that sherry actually doesn't want to live in twinbrook anymore um she has decided that this place is just too catty for her there's just too much drama and she has her sights on a bigger city. A city with so much promise and opportunity um, where it's sunny most of the time and rarely rains. Now you guys aren't familiar probably with this town at all, um, but it's actually a user created world and it's called Serta. It's actually one of my favorites. Why can't she browse the web? What? <gasps> oh girl. Um, it's actually one of my most favorite user created towns it's insane it's just oh it's like a beautiful beautiful city um and there's just so many different little dynamics to it so that's actually where sherry wants to wants to move and um it's extremely ex what it's extremely expensive to live there and uh, right now between the house and their uh funds they're a little shy over a thousand a hundred thousand dollars so they definitely need to um save up some cash and uh, work on quite possibly getting a large house when they move to Serta. Um, they're actually trying... No, girl, I'm trying to go on a date with you, boo boo. Come on, get real. <laughs> they're actually um, trying to convince Reed and Casey to move to Serta with them. Uh, and all that cool stuff. Not in the same house. We've already done all that. But, uh, you know, the same area so they can still be a family. With that said, I'm not going to give away too much more detail. Um, Athena here is actually on her way to schoolie and we're gonna change her outfit today like she looks cute but she kind of looks like a chewed up piece of bubble gum with, with too much pink going on so we'll leave that hair but we'll change the ensemble she misses her big bro to death so we're gonna have her hang out with Reed a little bit today um so i'm gonna have her work really hard because she did skip school and as you can see she's got a d that's not good like seriously kirsten would whoop her butt if she could and uh, we've been there we did all that so we're gonna just we're gonna have her work really hard um kirsten feels horrible for what she did to sherry i think she owes her an apology and sherry is going to try her very best just to kind of stay out of things and um you know for for the meantime get along with the rest of the family i guess because you know she's not going to be dealing with them for much longer hopefully <laughs> so anyway we're gonna have her just kind of become better friends with jake um since you know she has a better relationship with him in the first place um we're just gonna do what we do and just make random random chit chat uh let's discuss fine cuisine a little bit <laughs> All right, so I also had to just change my screen resolution because the other way my sims probably look short and fat for a little bit in this, uh, this episode, but now they look, they look the way they should. So anyway, uh, Athena just 
learn well, the basics boat. of it's cooking, so it seems like she kind of follows in her mother's footsteps, which is amazing. Um, so we're just going to just skip through this, and oh, we need to pay the bills of 538 simoleons, so we'll go ahead and um, pay that. So we're going to just queue up a few more interactions. I don't know what we're going to do. I feel like we're on the spot every time. I'm doing this. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll gossip a little bit. Um, we're going to... Let's see. Complain? No, we're not going to complain. We're going to celebrity gossip. I don't know. We're just going to, we're just going to, you know, chit-chat a whole bunch. Um, let's do... Talk about computers. I wish we could talk about something else. This is a little... A little boring. And we'll, we'll tell the story. How about that? So, Connor is outside, and he's the one that just paid the bills. And for some reason, um... Jeffrey Castor came up probably to actually see Jake so we'll go downstairs and we will greet him um because they used to actually work together if you guys do and should remember uh we got a whole bunch of newspapers going on out here so let's go ahead and drag and drop those and Kirsten is going to play some catch with her son uh I am a little confused with that but all right we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and let them play um some catch now I saw something green out here so let's go ahead and check this out uh, looks like we actually have, oh, we have chickies! <laughs> oh, my goodness, they're so freaking cute! Let's go have Connor, um, actually harvest the rest of these eggs, and we'll play with the chickies. And we're going to also pick the Indian blanket. Yeah, we're gonna pick it. Oh my gosh, we finally got chickens, you guys. Chickies, they are so freaking cute and yellow, and they remind me of peeps. What is he doing? He is harvesting the rest of the eggs. And we picked up four. Very nice. So we're just going to, I guess we could sell these. We don't really need them. We need the cash more than we need them. Um, so there's Connor, he's, he's kissing and nuzzling the eggs. He's such a, a soft soul. Um, all right, what is she doing? Oh, she's watching Blake, who also, by the way, ages up today. She is such a good grandma. Oh my gosh! We're gonna give um, you know what? Is Kirsten hungry at all? Um, we are going to let's go invite Casey out for a little bit. I think we told her what What's Sherry gonna do today? She is going to um work out, and we'll have her don't break a sweat because nobody likes some sweaty armpits. I'm not gonna lie, I hate that. Otherwise, I probably would work out more. But let's take uh, let's take e let's take you, Jakey. <laughs> let's take. Casey to the um, spring festival if she is down with it. Otherwise, she might be working, but we'll we'll, we'll definitely give it a try. Um, okay, so sorry, I'm too busy right now. I'll try calling back in two hours. All right, so maybe we'll, we'll try later in um, about two hours, but we're gonna, at the very least, send her. Who the hell is screaming? Oh my. <laughs> I think Jake just found his new passion. He is totally rooting Sherry on. Is he training here? That is too cool. Awesome. Alrighty, well, Athena, oh, Athena actually has a field trip today, and that's why she's earned some cooking skill. And there's a random horse at the at the bistro. Um, anyway, move along, pony. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but we're gonna have her call in. Oh gosh, I know, right? So we're gonna have her call in her job. Um, clean that she's sick, perhaps? I don't know. And we're gonna go hang out with Reed. Um, just because she misses her broski. And what is going on with these little midgets? Mary Baker. Like, I'm not gonna lie, though. This is absolutely freaking hilarious. Look at her. She looks like a little blueberry. <laughs> oh, there you go. Alright, so let's have her Athena hurry up here. Um, it says Athena had a great time at the field trip. Or something at the restaurant, whatever. Uh, let's have her go in here. And... Oh, we can't take off or call in. That is ridiculous. But what time are we done with work? We are done with work around 6 p.m. Oh my gosh, I don't want her to skip her job, but... The exact same time. <laughs> I kind of want her to go hang out with Reed for a little bit. Alright, guys. Dilemmas, dilemmas. What do we do? Okay, we really can't call in for work. Um, oh, wait. No, all right. Um, Screw it. We're just going to go hang out with Reed. So let's go and invite him out for a little bit. We'll take him to the town festival if he's down. And if he isn't, then we'll go to work. 
<gasps> so, no biggie there. What are you wearing? Adorable <laughs> girl. <laughs> it's a sure. It sounds like fun. Let's meet there. So I guess she's going to you're, skip her job. Girl needs like to get her priorities straight. But she wants to go hang out with her big broskins. So let's go ahead and um, have her meet him over there. I'm not exactly sure she's a little hungry. She does need to, or she is a little low on energy. But um, while we're waiting, let's see if we can scout out any um any flowers oh my gosh look at these little topiaries i think that's how you say it but look at the penguin i never noticed these they are so freaking cute all right so we're gonna pick pick some sulfur uh snag ourselves some sweet williams and we're even probably gonna give one to kirsten just to kiss her butt and we'll pick a few daisies um oh looks like kirsten is on the ball um, and Connor's doing awesome. He is playing some catch with his wifey, but let's just wait for Reed. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a lot of fun. So, um, Athena is just, I don't know what her problem is. Maybe she needs a man in her life. Do you guys agree? I think so. Um, I don't know if we know anyone from school. Let's see if we know any teens. Um... I don't really think so. Why, why is she upset? Oh, we're late for work, probably. Uh, we... What? Thomas Snow Ears. Oh, you're old now. I don't know. Hopefully we'll find a man. Um, Because I'm not really sure about Who's that. But where's Reed? Oh, there he is. Still looking good. And looking a little Zoo, like Jake Mark. these days. <laughs> I'm just Mer kidding. He hasn't changed at all. But he does look like his dad. Uh, so we're talking about pumpkin so pie. Eat. Um... Let's see, is there anything that we can do with them? Let's, let's be friendly. We're going to applaud his hard work. Um, we could even compliment his cleverness. And let's see. We'll make a promise to protect him through thick and thin. He's definitely her, her hero. I mean, they're not that great of friends, but she admires her brother to the extreme. We'll even express the need for exercise because... As Jake's Kadina children, that's pretty Fosnia. much their common bond. Dipu? So I'm let her go. Uh, let's see what we got going on over here. Where you gone? Uh, Sherry is now in with the jocks. Oh, Athena is really. starting to feel a little bit ill. Uh, Connor is also in with the jocks. Very nice. Very, very, very cool. It's really not that cool, but we'll pretend like it is. Oh my gosh, look at their, look at their um, relationship. Totally jumped. Okay, so let's see what we can do with these guys. Um, there's a whoopee cushion, but we're not gonna fall for that. Uh, we could dance, do a little, get a little, do a little, get a little jiggy with it. Uh, there's not really a lot to do here. Hate to say it, hate to say it, but what do you do at the spring pasta wall? Do you get your face painted? You do that. Um, well, we're not in love. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe we can play, um, who's this guy? Dang, Tay, I thought... <laughs> Connor no or Thomas actually no ears had no ears but you got ears for days look at those things they're like little radars look at them man you probably can hear a mile away uh, but we'll have these two um, go over here and play or practice horseshoes together I guess I feel like this is more for love bugs or something does Connor not have work today? No, he doesn't. So why not have him go to the bathroom? Because he doesn't have a very big ladder. And um, have him and Sherry get out of the house for a little bit. Have the parentals. Um, wow, Sherry. A little a little shallow much. Um, watch watch their son and they'll come over for a little um, a little fun. So let's have them hurry up. Have Connor go to the bathroom. And go here with Sherry Springston. And then um, go for a little while. Uh, invite Reed over to the house so we can celebrate Blake's birthday. Huh? What is she doing? She is so cute. I love her. Uh, and you know what? She actually looks good with these little glasses. I really like them. They look good on her. I like it a lot, actually. You're not doing very good, boo-boo, with your horseshoes. Come on, girl. You can do it. No. <laughs> Maybe you can't. So let's see what Reed does here. Are they on their way? Uh, no, don't scold the damn girl. Just let her go. <coughs> Just let her go. People are still scolding her. Oh, oh your chicks this. have grown up and flown the coop. Well, that's depressing. He wants to pick five wildflowers, and he also wants to go on an egg hunt. Oh, no. All right, whatever. We'll undo that. What's Sherry doing? She is talking about her many accomplishments. 
I'm trying to see something here. She's not really like a narcissistic sim. Ew! Really? You got low standards, girl. Let her off the hook. She's on a date with her bro. Or no. <laughs> not like that, though. You know what I mean? Oh, is she going to go on timeouts? Taryn Hobbs wants to know if Connor wants... Dude, you can't get Jake, so you get his son. You're sick. <sighs> Cougar much, maybe. Is she going to timeout? No, she's fine. Let's just... um. Let's be friendly and apologize. Because this, this girl has had the wrath of everyone. Um, and I want Sherry to stop flirting with uh, sonar ears over here. And let's see. Uh, where's the little love tester? I want to see how strong Connor and her love is. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and check that out. They can apologize later. Uh -huh. oh, he's apologizing now. Ooh. She feels so sick, and it's probably from those damn Bonnie flowers. Oh, to me. It's all right, bro. It's all right, bro skins. <laughs> Where's Reed at? Uh, let's see. He is still playing horseshoes. We'll join him. And let's go have them test out the love meter Hopefully, it's good. Otherwise, you know. Mm. Oh. Eh. oh, really? Mild, please. Love Inspector has seen better pears in a fruit salad. Rude. All right, Sherry, let's go have you use the bathroom. Um, she's a little confused by that. I mean, I think they're a match made in heaven. Hopefully, they don't move out to Serta and then realize they're not even like the ones for each other. But, you know, that kind of thing kind of flows with the family. Uh, egg hunt, huh? I don't see a single Weibo on the ground. Like, not one. I don't see a single freaking egg. Don't see it. Do you? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, those are seeds, Jen. You really need glasses, sweet pea. I don't see any of these damn eggs. Do you guys see any? Let me know. I see a picnic basket that we can't use. Um, no, there's none. All right, well, let's have Sherry um, and Connor, after Sherry goes to the bathroom, we'll have them slow dance a little bit. And let's go see how the rest of the fam bam is doing, because they need to get home soon. Um, looks like he is in the crib. Let's check on the relationships, too. His best relationship so far is with Casey, and or not Casey, Athena and his father, which is kind of strange. Um, this is their family tree. I know you guys keep wanting to see this, so I'll go ahead and show you while we're up. Um, as you can see, we got Sherry and we got Connor, mm -hmm. and they made a cute little baby. Uh, we got Kirsten and Jake, and then we got Jake's bloodline, and then, you know, Taryn, who's still with Goodwin and still looking schmexy as ever. Um, no babies here, but uh, Goodwin's a little old now, so Goodwin's a, a prune, but she's still with him. Uh, I don't know what else there is to see. Um, this is pretty much the, the bloodline as a whole. We got them together, and they have four amazing children, um, only one of which is actually with Kirsten and uh, and Jake. So looks like Casey is still single, but hopefully if and when she moves to Serta, we will fix that. So that is pretty much what's happening um, with our, our family tree, and Kirsten is going to snuggle. Looks like she's in a race with, oh, Jake, maybe not. Who's calling her? Um, it says Jean Luc Pivet wants to know if Kirsten wants to go on a date. Jesus, these people are like They're irresistible. Everybody wants them. Uh, but let's just uh, go see what little dude needs. He needs some food, so we'll have her give him a bottle, and then we'll we'll give Blake a bath. Um, and let's go see what Athena's up to. She's still playing horseshoes <laughs> with Reed. And it's really, really chilly outside. So I'm thinking we're going to um, have them go home now. Uh, and they are dancing. So I want them to actually do the slow dance interaction for a little bit. And I'm sure Connor's getting on the getting on the dance floor by himself. Because he, 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 he's a one-man show. He can, have party, or he can have a party with himself all day or a day and have just as much fun. But... Let's dance together and do a little a little slow dancing. And he's just really boogieing it, man. Look at him go. Um, why aren't you slow dancing with Connor? Okay, there we go. I just want to see what this looks like. We'll have a little romantic moment with them. Oh, I do love them together. I mean, they've been through so much already, but hopefully everything will play out just fine. 
Oh, let's see them. Mm. They're so sweet. There's no music, it's just the music in their heads. Oh, look how cute. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. She looks taller than him. Probably it's the bun. Oh, they are so sweet together. Oh, there's some hail for you. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love this pose right here. This is the cutest. Aww. Taking some photos. Paparazzi. Alrighty. That's so sweet. All right. So let's have everyone. Oh. <laughs> I wish they would give them little nibbles on the neck. That would be romantic. Um, but let's have them all go home now. And uh, we're going to get little dude's party ready. Uh, we'll have Reed come over if he would. Do we still have holiday lights on? We do. Look how much we fail in life. We still have holiday lights on. Um, let's see. Uh, go outside. Lila Springston. Oh, cool. I didn't know we could do that. Uh, the holiday house lights. None. All right. Let's take those off. And we're going to go ahead and purchase uh, Blake, Blake a cake. Um, I cannot wait to see what he's going to look like. I am so freaking excited to see who he's going to take after. It's ridiculous. Like, I think I'm more excited to see what he's going to look like than probably any of these damn sims uh, that I've ever, you know, raised from little from little jelly beans, if you know what I mean. Uh, all right, so let's give him the birthday Inferno cake. Hopefully Inferno doesn't mean fire. And we'll, we'll give him some of these little, little uh, cutesy poopsy um, cupcake. Ugh. Uh, sure, we'll give him some cupcake balloons just to be fancy. And um, we'll have Sherry go here with Connor. And we'll have Athena go here with group. And it looks like she wants to take a greeting card picture. She wants to collect festival tickets. Um, go on an egg hunt and all the sorts of things that we're not going to be able to do today. But we'll wait for everyone to um, get home. And it's really quiet. I feel like I should whisper almost. <laughs> Oh, let's go check on our chickies. They're all inside. Now we don't have any more chicks because they all went away. Um, but let's see how much these flowers are worth. Okay, well we don't... She didn't pick any of those? Crap. Alright, well how much is that one Indian? Ooh, that one's worth 400 smackaroonies. Um, oh, we have to wait until he gets home. But let's fast forward through all this crap. Um... Connor and Sherry are now here, and Athena is still playing her shoes with Reed, so let's have them wait a minute. Um, and I guess they could just chit-chat, uh, be romantic, heat of the moment kiss, and just, you know, just love each other up a little. Um, let's see, we're gonna do the, have them take a romantic photo together. And he wants to become friends with Athena, which I totally think he needs to work on. And he also wants to meet someone new, so we'll see. Hopefully she's hurrying it up, and I hope Reed comes with her. Looks like, um, where is he? He's coming now. Okay. All right, so let's have them hurry up. Do, do, do. It is so late, but what else is now? All right, so now that she's here, we're going to have um, these two love bug roonies. Oh, well, hello. Did I interrupt something? Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Oh, he wants to woohoo Sherry. Okay, well, you know, just wait a second. Holy crap, they're both going at it. Um, All right, let him change the dirty diaper. And Athena's... What's she doing? Okay. We're going to blow out the candles. All right. Well, I guess he still has a dirty pantalones, but what else is new? Um, who's going to be the one to, what is she doing? Eat leftover pancakes. Have, um, birthday for Blake. All right, so can you move your little culito? Thank you. Jesus. Jeez Louise. I just want to blow out some gosh dang candles. All right, let's speed it up. I wish we could walk this fast. <laughs> I really do. All right, everybody. Put your forks down. We're having a late night celebration. Alrighty. Oh, Too cute. Let's hope oh, um, Reed's still here. I don't see him now. Where is he at? There's Kay. We've got her. There's Athena. Where's Reed? Did he leave? No, he couldn't have. Where is he? Where is he? What is Reed? I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty, so we're going to put a little jelly bean down. And I will meet you guys oh, and create a sim. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, and this is the little Tweedle himself, um, Blake Springston. He is freaking too damn cute. 
I can't even talk. Like, he is absolutely freaking adorable. As you can see, his hair is not that of his mother's or actually his father's. It takes from, I believe, um, Sherry's mother has his hair. Or one of her parents does. Um, so I think that's hilarious that he actually took a lot after his parents or his grandparents than he did his own. Um, but you know, that's just genetics for you, and that is definitely the beauty of the Sims 3. So this is the everyday outfit attire that I gave him. These shorts are custom content, and yes, they are from the Sims 3 resource. Um, I know that for a fact because they're freshly downloaded. Uh, this is his formal wear, which isn't very formal, but it is what it is. Um, and this is his sleepwear, looking pretty fancy. Just the generic stuff that I'm pretty sure a lot of you put on your sims. And last but not least, his little outerwear, which I don't think I'll ever be able to use, but he does look quite fancy, like he's going to go on a, a ski resort, perhaps. So for his personality, he's a genius, he's athletic. He loves himself some fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. He loves Latin music, and his favorite color is black. Uh, and he is a Pisces, which means he was probably born in the month of March, which is kind of winter, right-ish? So, yeah, it works. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump right back on into the game. All right, so before we resume this little fiasco, there's a couple things I want to grab. Like, first and foremost, I want to get this kid a high chair, uh, just because I don't think I ever use the high chairs. Um, I'm not very comforting, I guess, when it comes to, comes to the toddlers. I'm definitely not a sad little person. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try to, you know, spend a lot of extra lovin's um, with Blake to make sure he ages up correctly. So we just gave him a little bear chair from the Sims 3 store and color coordinated it to match Kirsten's furniture because she's a little OCD like that we also have some other stuff maybe in our inventory like the like the little walker which I think would be too cute to have little dude running around in um and then we also have the the playpen and things like that but I think for now this is pretty good um we have one of these so let's delete that anything else that we can probably toss oh my gosh this baby monitor I freaking hate those uh, let's go see how much room we have in his room. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually get rid of this rocking chair. Or I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm going to move it out of his room really quick. Um, I don't know. I'll find, a, I'll, find, uh, I'll find a better place for it later because I actually want to put in uh, some of his skill, skill thingies, if that makes sense. And um, his little toy box, too. We don't have a lot of room in this room, unfortunately. So let's just put that, put that right here, and then we will also kind of coordinate it to match as well. And I think that's pretty much it um, for his room. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, all right. So I'm gonna go and um, pretty much get everyone wrapped up for bed. Poor Athena hates life. She lost a friend. She's Jeremy. She's in trouble. Um, oh, she missed work, so that's why Connor yelled at her. Oh, I can understand that, actually. Um, and these people are still tooting the damn horns. Um, and all that mess. So let's just make sure everyone's good. We'll let, we'll let Athena, uh, have a cake slice. And, you know, use the restroom. Hopefully she doesn't get fired from her job. I think she'll be okay. I'm not exactly sure, though. Oh, she's not doing too hot. And then after that, she can go to sleep. Um, Connor as well uh, needs to do, let's see, we'll have him go to the bathroom, take a shower, take a bath, take a bath, um, and then he'll also go to sleep. Sherry is actually pretty, pretty good. Little dude's awesome, so we'll have her, when she's done with the cake, put Blake in the crib, um, and we'll have her go to sleep, and then do the same thing with all the other sims. We'll have them all just hit the sack jack after they are uh, after they are done with their cake and I think that pretty much ra are you cross-eyed sir now you're just rolling your eyes <laughs> so I think that uh, that was loud pretty much wraps it up for part 43 of let's play the sims 3 seasons we didn't get to change Athena's appearance but we will definitely do so tomorrow and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i will see you all in my very next let's play <laughs> bye